come into some pretty bad weather and uh, some of the tricks of the trade it's good to have an experienced roofer like myself um, handle your roof should we run into foul weather you're going to want to know what to do living in New England anything could happen you have to assume that it's going to rain at any time now what I've done here is we, we got the deck down fully adhered it's the rubber is glued to the deck but the glue doesn't stop the water the rubber does and until you finish the flashing around the perimeter and all the posts you're going to have the potential for water so what we've done what we've learned how to do over the years is use this it's a, a pure fill um, you use it for ear sealing pri primarily for ear sealing and what we've done is we've gone around the perimeter and with all of the posts and we've sealed it all the way and I'm gonna run around real quick and show that to you. now this stuff expands five to one at minimum and it can be shaved off when it's done raining so there's no water getting in, it's airtight, it was damp when we put it down, and there's, there's no way this thing is going to leak. And what I've done also is I've actually put a bead underneath here as well, so the water can't really back underneath. We'll clean it before we continue. Now this, this roof is, is weather tight at the moment, temporarily. Uh, Wind could come, you know, we've got our flashing down, which will stop the wind from getting underneath it, and we're good to go. So as soon as the weather stops, we'll finish. Well, this is three solid days of rain, and you can see we have a temporary roof, rubber roof, or an unfinished rubber roof up above us, and we don't have any, any leakage. Very little bit down here. It's unfinished structure. And that's not coming from the roof at all. That's coming from the back of the tie back. Something up here in the window running down. But it's minutiae. 